So recently, I set up a Samba server for my home, and it was working perfectly fine until I tried to access that server on my work laptop. Now the main issue that I ran into was that my work organization blocked accessing untrusted servers through the Windows File Explorer. So I thought, why not try out a web-based file browser for my Samba server? And that's what I'm going to show you today. Before we begin this tutorial, I want to make sure that you have a Samba server set up and running and you have SSH access to that server. Now to run file browser, we can either install and run it natively on our Linux system or run it using Docker, which is what I'm going to be doing today. I will also leave the links to the file browser GitHub repository as well as their installation documentation page in the description of this video. First, I'm going to copy the Docker command over into my notepad. Here, you can see that there are a few things we need to modify. Now, let's jump into our server. First, let's create a file browser folder to store our config files. I'm going to be putting this inside my doc folder, but you can put this anywhere you like. So we're going to type in make their file browser. Next, we need to create a file in this folder which is the filebrowser.db file. Now, if you don't create this file, you'll run into an error when you try to run the container. So let's just cd into file browser. And let's touch filebrowser.db. Now, once this is done, we can hop back into our notepad. Here, we need to modify the path to root to match the path of our hosted Samba folder. Next, we will need to modify the path to the file browser.db file to match with the one that we created just now. Now I'm going to be removing this line because we don't really need the settings.json file as it already comes built in with the docker container. I am however going to change the PUID and PGID to 1000. As well as change the port number from 8080 to 80. Now you don't have to change the port number if you don't need to, but I have a different container running on that port so I'm going to change it to port 80 instead. I am also going to be adding three more options, which are the dash dash name, the dash d, as well as the dash dash restart unless stop flags. Once you've done modifying the docker command, we can copy this over into our terminal. Now we just have to type in sudo, paste in our commands, and let it run. Now if this is the first time you're running this command, Docker will automatically pull the image from Docker Hub. Now we can check our Docker container using sudo docker ps-a. And as you can see, our file browser container is up and running. Now let's open up a browser and type in the address of our Samba server followed by the port number. So for me, that will be 192.168. 1.39 followed by the port number 80. As you can see, we are greeted with a login page. The default username and password is admin admin. I'll show you how to change that in a bit. So let's log in. And as you can see, we are able to access the files on our Samba server. Now to change the default username and password, let's go into settings. Under user management, Click on this pencil icon and we can change our username as well as change our password. Don't forget to click save. Next, we can turn on dark mode in the global settings tab. Just look for theme and select dark. Now click update. Once you refresh the page, dark mode will be enabled. So there you go, we can now easily upload, download, edit and delete our files in our Samba server using our browser. So, thank you guys for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe.